Cardano has a secret which I'm about to expose in this video, or I should say explain a little bit more. There's often a criticism of Cardano that it is just a chain with a lot of research and there's nothing actually going on. And I'm about to basically dispel that myth in this video. So let's get into it. Timestamps in the description. Um, firstly, I'm going to come on to Wing Riders, which set off this path of me making this video. Wing Riders is a DEX um, just launched actually yesterday on Cardano. Um, there are many DEXs now on Cardano and a lot of people are saying Cardano is a ghost chain and nothing happens. We are seeing right now the explosion for the first time in applications on Cardano. So buckle up because the next six, 12 months is going to be very interesting. The reason why I say, you know, Wing Riders is interesting is for two reasons. Firstly, this is the application right here. And what do you know? We have stable coins on the Cardano network. This is huge, of course. Um, now, this is essentially a wrapped token uh, from Ethereum through Mill Commodore, which is a, another network, and then onto Cardano. You can now, in a decentralized way, swap your ADA for a stable coin. Absolutely fantastic. You can see all of these supported assets right here. I think USDC is supported as well. So the ecosystem is growing out and it is very exciting now that we have stable coins coming in, which will explode growth, which will explode lending, liquidity providing and everything else. So a very big step. Something that was said is that, you know, essentially Charles Hoskinson or um, Cardano's venture arm invests in wing riders. So I want to take a look basically at the business behind Cardano in this video, because it doesn't get mentioned that much. It's ignored. And when people say nothing's happened on, on Cardano, they obviously haven't done this research, research and know how much money is actually behind Cardano and uh, behind developing applications on Cardano. So what you can see here is essentially four different organizations companies, investment arms that are all behind Cardano with hundreds of millions of dollars invested right now, building out a financial infrastructure. What's really important to know is that people often say that Cardano is, is just a bunch of papers, right? A bunch of papers, um, you know, with analytical studies. The reason why they built Cardano is because they have, you know, tens, hundreds of millions of dollars actually that want to make money and they needed an ecosystem. They needed a blockchain to support their business ventures. And that is Cardano. So let's go over it here. You have Emergo. Emergo is a kind of venture capital arm, investment arm that wants to make money. Um, and what you can see here is they have actually a hundred million dollars right here um, that they are investing in African startups. Okay. So you can't just go in and invest in these startups, usually because the banking infrastructure is poor, the investment infrastructure is poor. That is why Cardano exists. Decentralized, you can get right to startups and invest directly in them and obviously grow them. This is, this is an investment in emerging markets and this is what Cardano is supporting. This is why they built the blockchain. You also have something here, which is $100 million. They're actually supporting something uh, called uh, like a, a liquidity funds investment or a yield fund from Waves Financial. So keep that uh, name in mind. Here we have Emergo though, Emergo Ventures. Okay, so this is a money making venture capital um, investment, you know, basically a VC, right? And you can see them here. Emergo Ventures is a venture capital initiative to promote and finance Cardano blockchain startups and middleware development. Okay, so this is venture capital and they want to make money through investing in applications and businesses in the new world of decentralized finance. So it's really important to understand that Emergo is investing money through uh, Cardano, not the actual blockchain. That's different to what is happening, you know, the venture on top of it, right? They needed a public blockchain to support all of the venture and investments in emerging market equities and, and businesses. And this is what they're doing. So you can see there, they've got 100 million in funding here. Um, Emergo Africa aims to support 300 startups uh, throughout Africa. And then you have Emergo Ventures will focus on developed markets to facilitate the building of solutions and services on Cardano. So hopefully you can see the strategy here. Okay, so Cardano itself as a blockchain is public and I'll go through that in a second. However, Emergo and the venture capital behind it certainly is commercial and they want to make a ton of money. Um, obviously, they want to invest in startups in emerging markets. Okay, That is the opportunity that they saw 
And Cardano is the infrastructure that they've now built out um, to let them do that. So who are Waves Financial? Waves Financial are essentially an investment company um, and they have what you can see here, $100 million in what they call a liquidity fund. This will be 100 million USD, a crypto version, going into Cardano exchanges uh, to provide liquidity. And that's very important. You need liquidity amongst all of these exchanges. Now, why would they do this? Well, liquidity providers such as this will earn liquidity provider fees. Um, so you can earn maybe 3% or something, 5% um, providing liquidity just from stable coins, you know, depending on the decks and how much volume there is. Also, a, nine, a name to keep in mind is David Seimer or Seema, um, CEO of Waves. Next, though, we're going to get on to Cardano C Fund. Cardano C Fund is a venture capital fund. Okay, so this is venture again. They are building out uh, investments and obviously they're looking to make money off them. Um, so what you can see here, what is seed fund or what is C fund? An early stage sector agnostic venture firm in the blockchain industry anchored by IOHK and managed by Wave Financial. Okay, so Wave Financial are managing this fund. Again, hundreds of millions of dollars to invest in emerging market startups uh, and other decentralized you know, applications in this new world. As we come down, we can see the managing team right here of C fund which is good old David right here. Now, if you come back to Waves, you can see he's actually the CEO of Waves, right? So you have C Fund right here, um, and you have him as the general partner of C Fund, which is a venture capital arm investing in you know, certain um, applications, and you can see them right here. So C Fund invests in these applications, which are obviously building out on Cardano right now, as you can see. So Wing Riders is one of them, Decentralized Exchange. They also funded Sunday Swap and uh, Milcomoda, which is a bridge to Ethereum. So obviously really important for their ecosystem. DC Spark make Milcomoda, so they've invested you know, in both of those. Koti, which is using um, Ada Pay. So Koti is its own blockchain, but they are building out Ada Pay, which is a payments application, payment service built on blockchain technology. Then you have Adana, which is lending, borrowing, and stable coins, and that's a protocol, and they've invested in that. So what you can see here is that C Fund itself, which Charles Hoskinson, Charles Hoskinson is an advisor for, and of course, you know he's you know the founder of Cardano, right? With IOHK, which is a tech and research company. Um, you know you have C Fund investing in all of the applications on Cardano, or the the current kind of start, you know the the fresh. Um, first applications on Cardano that are building out DeFi. So the point here is that essentially everyone that says Cardano is a ghost chain and nothing happens on there and there's nothing behind it and it's just papers, categorically untrue. There's a lot of money behind it and it doesn't get talked about a lot. People talk about the community and everything on Cardano is from the ground up and there's a reason for that, which I'm gonna explain now, but to be sure, there is a lot of venture capital behind Cardano building out the layer of applications on top of the blockchain. So you have the blockchain itself, which definitely is public and open, completely open source. And then you have the applications on top, which are of course businesses. So just imagine a bank on top of a financial infrastructure. Those businesses, those applications have separate developers. And of course, you know, they're in business, they need to get paid. And so they need money, they need investment, they need venture capital, and that happens through C Fund, through Waves, through Emergo. So hopefully you can see how all of this is tying together as an ecosystem. You know, just to go through this again, 100 million Wave Financial Fund offers liquidity to new platforms. So what they're doing, um, you can see here, Singapore-based Emergo, a founder of the Cardano protocols, supported the creation of the Wave Fund according to the news release. So Emergo really is, you know, a huge uh, amount of capital, right? So there's a ton of capital coming in from Emergo. Waves is obviously a financial manager. They have other uh, investments and other types of funds as well with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, so, you know, various different kind of funds that people can invest in there. Um, and IOHK obviously building out a financial infrastructure to actually support all of this. Um, so just to obviously, you know, be sure as well, you can see David here, you know, on the, he's actually the chief, uh, chief executive of Wave and also um, an advisor down here or a partner on C Fund. So you can see how these venture capital investors have gone in and put their money into this to build out applications and businesses on top of Cardano itself. What's really important though about Cardano is how the blockchain itself 
is public and, and this shows it. Um, now there may be some differences here because this was a while back uh, last year, but what you can see here is initial token allocations for public blockchains. So when a, when a blockchain obviously um, starts, you know, the developers of the blockchain itself require capital, right? Everything requires capital. You can't just start working for free and hope it works out. You, there needs to be some sort of capital to pay the developers. And what you can see here is that Ethereum, you know, being the number two crypto, considered a completely public blockchain, right? And what you can see is that the public sale initially was very, very large, right? We're looking at, um, you know, 75 plus percent of the coins going to public sale, okay? So you consider that a public blockchain and that can be used later on. If you think it's hodler base are very, very diversified, then Ethereum can become really thought of as a public asset. A little like Bitcoin as well, with its hodler base so diversified, you can really think of Bitcoin as a public uh, asset that you can use as collateral because it's not really controlled by insiders like, uh, like stocks or an equity would be, right? And then we go to Binance, which is 50-50. So, you know, looking really like, is Binance basically just a company, right? The, the blockchain is owned by insiders. Then we look to uh, Solana, you know, 50% is insiders. That's the VC team, which is a lot. And then you have community allocations here, which could potentially be the same sort of thing as public sale. But what you're looking at is, you know, 13% of in the foundation. So you're looking at way more than 50% of the coins that have gone to basically insiders. Uh, looking at Cardano, it's very similar to Ethereum in that the actual blockchain and the coins are essentially a public asset. And what we've seen is Cardano is that uh, a lot of um, a lot of the coins are actually going to uh, individuals and retail investors as well. So this is getting larger in terms of how much of the coin is in public hands. Um, now, if you get to other uh, other blockchains, Luna isn't on here, but Luna is about 50-50, I think, or maybe even more in terms of almost 50% of the coins are owned by the Luna Foundation. Now, the problem with that is when coins are not public, you really don't know what's going to happen. Now, Luna have been basically dumping their own coins on the market um, to raise capital to buy Bitcoin, right? So you have a ton of coins that are owned by Luna and they're dumping their own coins on the market to buy Bitcoin. That is not something that can be genuinely considered a public asset with a very diversified uh, portfolio of holders. And so when you're looking at kind of coins and the potential valuation, I would suggest that a blockchain coin needs to be a public asset. Now, all of this can kind of change over time, but, import, but important to understand how Cardano, when they created their ecosystem, they really did def differentiate the blockchain itself as being public and open source with a diversified asset base, therefore creating some sort of a you know monetary asset for its um, ecosystem versus VC chains, which essentially are way more like equity. They're way more like a, um, a venture coin where a lot of the coins are owned by insiders, venture capital uh, and the people who made it, which obviously is very different, I would say, as an investment when you're looking at these things between real a public coin and something that is really just kind of an equity. So what exactly is Cardano? It is essentially a financial infrastructure that is used by these venture capital investors to grow in, emer in emerging markets. They want to invest in high growth areas in emerging markets. And the way that they can do that now is through blockchain technology. This is the same as Binance uh, and many of the applications that are listed on Ethereum. Cardano itself is the infrastructure that they needed to do this. And that is why they went through all of this long process of actually building the chain because they had investors that had a specific use case and that's what Cardano is. Decentralized financial infrastructure for these ca uh, venture capital investors to invest in those emerging markets. Now there's still a lot of questions and ifs and buts about this. It hasn't happened and emerging markets are notoriously difficult. This is the whole point of building out these blockchains in order to be decentralized and basically go straight to the end customer uh, to obviously you know, facilitate lending and borrowing and investing in those. So that's what Cardano is. And if you're getting into Cardano, um, that is the play. Also, Cardano is way more publicly owned as an asset and has a focus on being a public open source chain. And so that can potentially you know, rise in value and become a collateralized, collateralizable asset in a similar way to Ethereum possibly. That is still an if. Um, obviously, there's still a lot of questions about if Cardano can actually pull this off. 
there's high risk here, but there's also high reward. And that is, is why Cardano have built out this infrastructure. If you want to know more about that, if you want to know more about my portfolio and how I invest, uh, check out my crypto investor course. I'll link that in the description or join the public Discord server. I'll link that in the description and pin it as a comment as well. I'm James, it's Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.